Climate change is the large-scale long-term shift in Earth's weather patterns or average temperatures. Ice cores and rising temperatures are evidence of climate change, as are glaciers and ice melting with Arctic sea ice thinning by 65% since 1975 and in 2014 its extent was at an all-time low. Rising sea levels also show evidence for climate change and according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, also known as the IPCC, the average global sea level has risen between 10 and 20 centimetres in the past 100 years. Natural causes of climate change include changes in the Earth's orbit, solar activity and volcanic activity. The Earth's axis is tilted. It's currently tilted at 23.5 degrees, but this changes. Less tilt means less sunlight to the poles, making it colder. Eccentricity is the shape of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. It's not fixed and when the Earth spends more time away from the Sun, the average temperatures are colder. The Earth also wobbles like a spinning top, which leads to some colder winters or hotter summers. This is called precession. Sunspots are dark patches on the Sun when solar flares are emitted. When sunspot activity is at a maximum, the Sun gives off more heat and solar flares are caused by large explosions on the Sun's surface. When sunspot activity is at a minimum, the opposite happens, the sun gives off less heat, causing lower temperatures on Earth. Violent volcanic eruptions cause massive amounts of ash and gases to be released into the atmosphere. Volcanic winters can occur where temperatures are cooler due to ash blocking out the sun. This is usually a short-term impact. Sulfur dioxide is one of the substances released during volcanic eruptions. The fine droplets that result from the conversion of sulfur dioxide into sulfuric acid act like tiny mirrors reflecting radiation from the sun. This can last a lot longer and affect the climate for many years. The atmosphere is like a greenhouse allowing most of the heat from the sun to pass straight through it to warm up the earth's surface. This is the shortwave radiation. The earth then gives off longwave radiation but greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane are able to absorb it trapping it in the atmosphere. This is the greenhouse effect. The amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has increased due to many human activities. Carbon dioxide is released by car exhausts, deforestation, burning wood and burning fossil fuels, which are coal, oil and gas. Nitrous oxides are released by car exhausts, power stations, sewage treatment and agricultural fertilizers. And methane is produced by rice farming, farming livestock, burning biomass and decaying organic matter in landfill sites and compost tips. Climate change has many effects. Melting ice caps and glaciers impact wildlife, causing a changed ecology and loss of species, decreasing the biodiversity. They also cause rising sea levels, which affects low-lying land significantly. Existing ecosystems are damaged, flooding causes a loss of lives and property, and island nations such as Kiribati and Tuvalu may disappear. Sea levels also rise due to thermal expansion. When objects heat up, they expand, meaning the ocean expands due to water heating up. As discussed in more detail in another video, tropical storms will be affected by climate change. They will have more energy, occur more often, and occur in areas they previously couldn't. This can force people to move away from areas at risk, damage existing ecosystems and property, and cause a loss of life. Drought and desertification can force people to move elsewhere due to a lack of water, famine, crop failure and a loss of income. This puts pressure on services elsewhere and mass migration can cause many other issues. Habitats will also be destroyed which reduces the biodiversity. Increased rainfall and flooding causes disruption to transport, damages property and crops and can cause loss of life. 